today's video today is can your diet or does your diet affect your libido? My answer is absolutely. I, my entire life, I had never even considered that your sex drive could be affected by your diet. I knew that it could, of course, be affected by drugs and alcohol. Everybody knows about beer goggles and being at a bar or a club and you've had one too many drinks and you're just like looking at somebody and you're just like, okay, yeah, this, this is great. This will work just fine. You're, you're kind of stoked on it. And then of course the next morning you're just like, wow. And then of course with, um, uh, psychoactive drugs, um, like amphetamines and stuff like that, it absolutely can increase your sex drive and libido. And you can even get kind of the beer goggle type effect with those. Of course, if you've ever been to a rave and done any sort of amphetamine type things and been having quite the night and then the next day you hang out with that rave girl and it's just like wow it's a whole different ball game but anyway um so we all know that drugs and alcohol can affect your libido and stuff like that but food i had i would have never i would have never thought about that so what happened with me is i went on an extremely strict diet uh where i had basically cut out all almost all carbs not all carbs but almost all carbs i had cut out almost all carbs and almost all sugar and almost all fat. Like I was basically just eating vegetables and uh, like non-starchy vegetables um, and like white meats. And that's basically all I was eating um, for weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks. And then I was also in starvation mode because I was also eating at a deficit on top of all that. So the weight was just melting off of me. And I was losing a couple pounds a week. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. It was the weight was just melting off me. Yeah, I think it was a couple pounds a week. And uh, I got down to probably 10% body fat or less from 20, like 20% 20 body fat. And this, and I did this for a couple months there. And slowly by slowly, I started finding myself just not caring at all about wanting to go on dates, not caring at all about wanting to go out and meet women. Just wasn't that into it, just wasn't really sounding good. And then as each day passed, just more and more, the idea of approaching a woman, the idea of pursuing a woman, just sounded terrible. Just sounded terrible to me. It just didn't sound fun. Just didn't want to do it. And never in my life had that ever happened where it just didn't even sound fun, didn't sound appealing at all to even hang out with girls at all. Like I was just like, holy crap, my libido is just gone. Like this is, this is weird. But like, I just thought it was something, I was going through some weird down phase or some weird cave phase where I was being antisocial and just, I thought it was like a weird mental thing. But what really spurred this like video and this thought process is uh, Matthew McConaughey was had an appearance on the Joe Rogan experience where Joe Rogan was talking to him about um, the dramatic weight loss that he did for Dallas Buyers Club and Matthew McConaughey was talking about how he'd gotten down into the low 130s from his normal weight of being in the 180s had lost like 50 pounds and was just I mean if you see the movie he's really really thin he's basically like a skeleton and Matthew McConaughey was talking about, um, he didn't really specifically say that he had a low sex drive when he had dropped all that weight, but he inferred that by talking about how when he did the movie Gold a couple years later and he'd gotten really fat, he got up to like 220 of like mostly fat. And he was talking about how he was just eating cheeseburgers and eating cheeseburgers and shakes. And he was talking about, oh, I'm cheeseburger king and stuff like that. You need to watch that clip from the Joe Rogan experience. Um, but he was talking about how his sex drive and his libido just skyrocketed through the roof. And when I was watching that, I was just like, wait, cheeseburgers, shakes, getting really fat, being 220, but with a really, really high sex drive. And I was like, wait a second, I'm doing the opposite of all of that. And I have a really low sex drive. And I'm like, wait a second, diet and food? can affect sex drive? Wait, what? Like, I don't know why I had never heard of this. I don't know why I had never thought about this, but then I started like typing it into Google, typing it into YouTube, like 
low fat diets, you know, or no carb diets or extreme diets or uh, being in starvation mode lowers libido. And I'm just like, wow, oh, this is a thing. This is thing is real. And then if you think about it, it just makes really obvious sense from an evolutionary standpoint. It's like an evolutionary feature of where, I mean, this almost just seems like just common sense where if you're in a famine, if times are rough and food is scarce, you shouldn't probably shouldn't be making babies and they're just going to die. So hunkering down in a cave and not mating makes sense while times are tough and food is scarce. But if times are amazing, crops are coming in, food is abundant and everybody's eating. Let's get all these kids onto the planet and make a bunch of babies. So yeah, that was basically, um, that was basically something that I had not thought about beforehand and was pretty mind blowing to me. So um, I think that'll probably wrap it up on this video. I think the answer, uh, oh yeah, I guess one more thing I was going to say is that I have quit my crazy diet and I've started eating carbs and some sugars and cheeseburgers and fat again. I've maintained a caloric, like I haven't been eating in caloric excess. So I didn't just get really fat and just gain a bunch of weight when I came back to all this food. I've been eating at a, about a maintenance level and I've started working out again. So I didn't just gain a bunch of fat, but I just simply changed my diet back over to accepting carbs and fats and sugars and stuff like that back into my diet and kind of eating some junk food here and there, drinking a soda here and there and just kind of consuming more calories. Sure enough, my libido has returned and I'm back to like, I'm back to the idea of hanging out with women again and going on dates again. I'm back to that idea it's actually sounding good again. So the conclusion of this video is I believe, yes, it absolutely does affect it. Um, there's, you know, going to be some science on this if you pop it into Google and there's going to be some articles on this uh, where diet affects hormone production and testosterone production. So answers yes. And I, uh, I suggest digging into it. All right. That's it for today.